Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Tanya Lady T. And yes, this is another edition of Lady T Sensation Morning Edition. So come on, all aboard, and get on this train. Y'all, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. When I say beautiful, it's just peaceful. It's been raining all day. And um, so I'm resting my body, y'all. If y'all have um, been following me on my other channel, y'all know I'm doing the gym and I'm doing the daggone thing. Um, just being encouraged. So anyway, let's just go ahead on and say the grace right quick so I can show you what I got. Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for this food I'm about to receive for the nourishment and strengthening of my body. For Christ's sake. Amen. All right, y'all. I've been doing good all week. And I said, you know what? I'm getting up this morning and I'm cooking me a nice hearty breakfast. Um, I'm just I made me some homemade uh breakfast burritos. And what this is, um, is of course some eggs. I've got garlic, onions, jalapeno peppers, and I've got some bacon, and then I've got some, of course, flour tortillas, and we're going to make our own homemade, uh, this is Lady T's version of a McDonald's a breakfast, a burritos, and I've just got some green tea, diet green tea in here, and I got me a cup of coffee, yes, and this coffee is good, like I told you, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. <laughs> all right this morning y'all we're gonna get a little deep i want y'all to just just walk with me roll with me just want to talk about some things you know that's what we do at the breakfast table and of course we got some tits it's peak on deck to make it what hot i should have got one of my ramen noodle packets for some hot sauce and I sprinkled a little paprika on top. But yeah, I make these from time to time. I love it. Sometimes before Sunday, um, if I get up early, I will make these for myself. Um, go ahead on and get these jalapenos going. And y'all already know I'm the onion woman. I'm all about the onion. Okay. Stick me a piece of bacon in there. Why not? Let's go and do it. Oh, of course, and I got some cheese. Y'all saw that. Put a little snippet in, in the front of the video so y'all can see what I make it. Okay. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? Let's go on. Let's go on and get that hot sauce on that bad boy. I thought I had some pecani sauce in there, but uh, no, did not. So that's what it looks like. All nice and bandaged. But y'all, I wanted to just talk to y'all real quickly. We're going to get deep about some things and we're going to laugh and throw our minds wide open on some things. Okay. Mmm. Mm, that is wonderful. Mm. Mm, nice and fresh. Y'all, that pollen is wreaking havoc. I had to take my contacts out because, honey, it was wreaking havoc on you, girl. But, y'all, what I wanted to talk about this morning was I. Uh, And I've spoken on this 
on my other channel. If y'all if y'all are not subscribed to my other channel, Tanya How, go on over with you waiting on. And I also have a cooking channel. Started that years ago. But because I don't have a thousand subscribers, I've been uploading, but y'all help your girl get to a thousand subscribers over there. Anyway, anyway. I've talked about weight loss and my weight loss journey. And sometimes I like to give periodic updates and or talk a little bit about my story. And what made me want to do this video this morning is that I was watching, I love me some B-loves. What's up, my sister? Um, She was just talking about how, because we're, look, on this platform as a YouTuber, unless you are a YouTuber, you don't know just like me, it took me, it seemed like it took me 20 daggone minutes to get this camera set up. Now, how often do I, I sit at this table all the time, but you got to make sure this is right. You got to make sure you ain't on looking jacked up. I mean, you know, it's a lot that goes into it. It's not just flipping on the camera. You got to, it's a lot of work. And that, and I choose to do that, but then th that's my platform. And I don't want to get on here and talk about all that. But it, it, it's, it, you know, that's why we get paid. That's why if advertisers want to, advertise across our videos that's how we get paid it ain't no different than a celebrity <laughs> that when they when they making their commercials for crash ding, ding, and they making commercials for coca-cola yes they're getting paid yes they are so you know we're no different you know it's it's for everybody you have the same 24 hours that i do what are you going to do with your time in those 24 hours it's up to you you know hey get in where you can fit in i say that all the time Oh, this is fabulous, y'all. So she was doing a video the other day on, um, I think it was, um, her recent video she did about, um, JJ's fish. I think that's what it is, JJ's fish, where she's eating fish and chicken. And anyway, you know, she was talking about how people leave comments about her smacking and stuff. It's an eating show. I mean, that's what we do. Anyway, and she was talking about, I think she said she's a, a 137 pounds or something like that. She said a book 37, so we all know what that means. But she is, she's very petite. She's a small woman, but you know that she eats a lot of food and she can eat a lot of food because that's just, you know, and I've got a... I've got friends like that. They'll put me under the table. Now, I'm a thickums bickums. And the way my body metabolizes food is totally different because of my activities or non-activity. So, she was spot on speaking on that. And like I said, I thank her for that video because she has more viewers, of course. And, and, and she's able to speak that out to a lot of people because a lot of people think just because you're big and you're fat like me that we sit up and eat a whole bunch of food. And she's right. She could eat me under the table. There's no way in the world I could eat as much as she does. But that's her body. She has, and she is so right about the stomach, how big your stomach. Some people's stomachs are big. Some people's are small. And they expand because they are. They are muscles. They, they can expand and, and, and increase and decrease. And so, you know, I just wanted to piggyback on that because that is so forever true. And so I tell people, you know, and again, this, this video is not for the trolls and the people who are going to be nasty and ugly, and they're not going to hear anything you saying other than you're sitting here eating food. Whether this camera is on or off, I'm going to eat. I have to, uh, you know, I have to, it, it, food is what gives you fuel to make you be able to walk from A to B and get up and move and move around and do and have your beating. So this video is not for you people. Unless you want to just sit and listen and learn. But if you're not, you're going to continue to, to get on here and call me fat, black, ugly. You, you feeding your fat face. You, you know, I, some people really just want big people like me. And, you know, they just want us to eat grass. Now, if we got on here and ate grass and lettuce and, 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 and water with just a bouillon cube in it, that's what they want us to do. 
But again, piggybacking on what B Love said, you know, you don't know what a person's circumstances that cause them to be the certain size that they are. You know, a lot of people get into horrible accidents and there's, uh, they have to be on pain pills and their life is no longer active as though they, what they used to be. So they gain a lot of weight. So you just never know the scenario, no, never know the situation. And yet you sit up here and like she said, honey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a child of the King. <laughs> I'm a child of God. And we look, we all are, but when you mess, even won't your parents, if one sibling is messing with the other sibling, won't that other sibling that's messing with the other sibling unjustly, won't they get it? Won't the parents get it? It's no different with our Heavenly Father. So you have to be careful when you put your mouth. And like I said, this is not for people who don't care. These are people, because, but there's some of us who are out here who need to hear it. There's some of us who need to be encouraged. There's some of us who need to know that, hey, you can still, you can still eat and be healthy. Yeah, I have to watch and pull back and I fluctuate throughout the year, five or six pounds. And when I get to a so I, I know when I need to pull back and step up my game with activity and everything and all that. But I thank you, my sister beloved, for, for pointing that out to people that you don't know the circumstance of why people or what or how they are. And, and and she and man, she hit it when she said, you know, why is it that when you see a big person eat something like this, as opposed to someone like her get on there and eat a whole lot of food, and you don't leave ugly, nasty comments to her about you know all that food they're eating. Why is it okay for a skinny person to eat all that food all the time and no one criticizes them like they do somebody who's big, big and Thickums, fathoms like me. They oh, they'll get on me all day long. But I came on here to say this. That's why I come. I, you know, for me, I'm 47 years old. To God be the glory, and plan to be 48 this coming September. But what I wanted to say is, is that with all of that knowledge, and I tell people, look, I'm under doctor's care. I appreciate you giving me good uh, constructive criticism. But trust and believe, I have a doctor that tells me, and for the past 12, 13 years, I have kept off 100 pounds. Yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. And I don't want to go back there. So when I get on here and I eat, I know I know when during the week I do my portion control. No, I don't record all that because I'm going about my day. I, I have a busy life. Yes, I do. I do a lot in my church. I do a lot with my family. I do a lot with Mr. Silverfoss, so I have my own personal downtime. But trust and believe when I tell you, I know what I'm doing. It may not be what, you, what it looked like to you. It may not be what you would want for yourself, but trust and believe. And so the reason why I wanted to talk about that this morning, because like I said, there's somebody out there that is wanting to start a YouTube channel. I'm going to talk <laughs> Mm, that's a good cup of coffee. There's somebody out there that wants to start a YouTube channel, but they're afraid because of the backlash and the criticism, and they may they might look like me. They might be big and overweight. I still have another forty pounds I want to lose. And through the help of my doctor and through the help of my own knowledge. And yeah, I get weak and I'll go off the beaten path, but I come right back on that path. And the reason why I said I wanted to just talk about this is because some people have, have been able to, to, to quit their jobs and do YouTube full time. Uh, I'm not there yet. Um, I have a good corporate job. I got good benefits. Good health insurance, good uh, eye and dental. I have a lot of perks and fringe benefits. I get to work from we're remote from home two times a week. Um, I have good, awesome bosses who respect me. I've been on the same job with I put like this. I've been at the same company for 29 years. Um, I've worked my way up, you know. Um, 
it's got to, you know, if I were to ever do this full time, it had it have to make sense. It's got to be be because I it's just my income. I mean, I got to make sure that I'm able to save like I'm saving. I, I need to make sure that it, it, it's going to be able, you know, I'd have to see an increase in growth. Um, you know, some people started YouTube and hit that platform and man, they are, they are soaring. My channel is growing organically and I love it. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you. And we're going to continue to grow until I see those numbers. And then I'm able to more, you know, do a little bit more when I can, but I get on here because I enjoy talking to you. I enjoy talking and sharing with people, you know, but like I said, I wanted to get on here to encourage somebody. And like I said, let me finish this last piece. I mean, on this one, <laughs> Because this is an eating channel, by the way. Oh, uh -uh. I'm done drop, drop down my own. I get that. Mm. I'm going to share something with y'all. And I've shared it over there on my other channel. And again, this video is not for the naysayers. It may be indirectly to let y'all know I live, I live with myself 47 years, so I know what I need to do and what I should do. And just like anything else in life, we have to be reminded. So I'm going to share something with y'all. Back in 2004-ish, somewhere around in there, I was at my heaviest. And I'm not afraid to divulge and share. Because again, I'm about uplifting and inspiring. People are going to put their mouths on you. I can eat a piece of fish with nothing but garlic salt, garlic powder, and somebody's going to say, oh, you shouldn't eat that. Whatever. But I know where I come from. Okay? And I want to show y'all something. Do y'all see that person in white? That was me. 330 pounds. And I hope the camera's picking it up. That that the other lady, she's a good friend of mine. We used to sing together. That's me in white. Y'all see that? 330 pounds. And I have other pictures. Again, that's me. I don't know if y'all can see my... I'm trying to get it where y'all can see my face. Look at that. Now, I thought I was cute. That was 330 pounds at my heaviest. I'm now at two. Matter of fact, I just weighed myself. I lost three pounds this past week because I've been hitting the gym. And I've been doing my portion control. I'm now down to 232 pounds. Okay? So that was, what, 13, 14 plus years ago. And throughout the years, I have kept that weight off. I will never go back to that again. And so, like I said, I just want to encourage. Mm, thank you, Lord. Excuse me, y'all. Mm. I just want to encourage y'all. We are human beings. We have to make decisions, yes, about our eating habits, about our physical activity. But I'm here to tell you, I will never go back there. Never. It's been a long struggle. But through the doctor, I've been with the same doctor for almost 20 years now and it's almost like we grew up together because I started going to my daughter I go to he was about four or five years post out of medical school and he had just started his practice and we have just worked this thing together and every year we set a goal okay Tanya 30 pounds and that's the goal and we get to our mark and so, you know, like I said, 
sensible. Like I said, I can't get on here and even in my regular life, well, this is my regular life, but you know what I mean, when the camera's on and when the camera's off, I I know how much I can consume. But no, I can't, just like B-Love said, no, I can't eat all that food that B-Love eats. She does an awesome job with her channel, and she knows what her body can stand. And that's what's so awesome about what her, her video is about. When you know what you can stand, and now that you have, now that I have the knowledge, so like I said, you know, people, there's nothing wrong with giving, you know, constructive criticism. There's nothing wrong with, you know, having a concern, but I just want my viewers to know who follow me, who have looked at old videos on my main channel. <laughs> They they can see they've seen the, the the transformation they've seen you know the changes and like I said I want I'm all about trying to encourage and uplift people you know we can laugh and we can do this and that and the other but you know I'm truly here to to encourage people I really am and to be able to say something that's beneficial and at the same time yes I'm I'm, I'm getting paid um. You know, some people go to, it. you know, YouTube doesn't cost you, the viewer, a thing. Nothing but their time. You know? And so for people who come on here and they that's that's what they're going to do. They're going to come on here. They're going to leave nasty comments. That's, that's just what they do with their time. But I'm going to tell you, that kind of stuff, it, it begins, it's going to eat on you inwardly. So like I said, you know, I for the most part, I'm very light. Um, it's far and fun hearted on this channel and that's what, and that's who I am. But there's sometimes if I'm going to have a platform, I'll also be able to say something for that person who is looking for some income and they, and they have a niche. It don't necessarily have to be an eating channel. It don't, ha it, it could be, what is your, what is your passion? You might be a person who is in financing and can get on here and bust the window wide open and help some people understand money. You know, and just like, you know, some of the salespeople, men that I uh, work with and, and they're way up there on the pay scale. Oh yeah, I go in there and I get some serious good information from them. Good information knowledgeable information they get you up on game don't be afraid to talk to some of these people soak it in like like you in a classroom you know and that's all i'm trying to tell y'all you know we can we, we we think that you know we got to eat like a rabbit and sometimes that might be what is necessary in the beginning to get your metabolism defaulted and re and, and reset and so you know yeah you know yeah i have my cheat days because I've learned through talking with my daughter. That helps your body to reset. Mm, this is so good. Mm. But like I said. I just wanted to encourage y'all that. If you do decide to do a channel and you want to do an eating show channel because you're passionate about food, you might be a cook. You might be a person who loves to cook and you just want to post your videos for the for just the fun and love of cooking. Do it. Just do it. Pray about it. You have to look at it like this. You might have something somebody needs. And if that need is meeting a financial need in your in your household, do it. There's a young lady on here that I love watching. I mean, I don't watch every video, but you know, whenever I'm freed up like today, 
I'm going to be screen cleaning my other second bedroom and getting rid of old jewelry. You know, stuff like that. And she loves going around. I can't even think of the name of the channel. Lord have mercy. Anyway, she loves going around. Yard sales. She finds old furniture. Refurbishes, refurbishes it. And her got her little side hustle, and she sells it. Um, you remember when the mirrored um, dr chest of drawers and you know nightstand, you know when all that was real, you know started to get real proper. Everybody wanted a mirrored nightstand. Shoot, she found two old nightstands on the on the side of the road. She went to um, I think it was either Home Depot, or Lowe's, somewhere, and had the glasses cut to fit. Man. That mirror, I think she said it cost her like 25, 30 bucks, whatever. She went, fit, oh my God, beautiful. And she has hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. But that's what she turned her passion into a way for her to gain and make wealth. That's, that's when God gives you a God given skill set, he gives it to us without repentance. I have, the, I have, I love to run my mouth and talk. I'm passionate about certain things. And so, my passion, I have been able to create an audience who likes to come to my channel and listen to me talk and eat and all other kind of stuff. And I have a, my family, we just are humorous. You know, we have that, you know, humor, you know, and we just, it just comes out right off the dome. I mean, it's nothing for us. It just, it just happens. But find what your passion is. And it can turn you into a way to get wealth. I see some stay-at-home moms. They have two or three children. It doesn't make sense for their family to put their all three children in child care and pay almost a thousand dollars a week for child care. They say, you know what? I'm going to cut this camera on. Yeah. It, 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 it entails letting people into your private and personal space. People might say, oh, I don't like them plates hanging on the wall. Well, it's not your house. <laughs> I mean, it ain't for you to like it. You know, I'm, so you have to put up with all that. So, again, allowing people into your personal space for every bit of 15, 20 minutes. They're going to find something. But that's the cost you pay. That's the cost. That's the scrutiny sometimes you will come under. And you same people that leave them nasty comments. You have to sit in your head. Okay, their house may be pristine. Or you might, in reality, their house look like a, a, it's a, it's a health hazard. Whatever. But you have to put the good with the bad. But for the most part... The good always outweighs the bad, in my opinion, on my channel. But I know people ask me questions, well, you know, how did you get started with your new YouTube and how? You know, and so, so I'm just letting you know. It comes with this negativity. And you have to have thick skin to be able to deal with it. Everybody ain't gonna like you. People that don't like you will constantly come to your videos... Watch your video just so they can leave a comment of dislike. I don't understand it. I particularly don't like all these gaming videos. But guess what? When I see my nephews, that's all they do. But I'm not going to go on a gaming video... And, and leave a comment. Oh, what you're doing is so stupid. I can't believe you. What? What? I mean, I, I don't. I don't. I don't understand. I just. I don't see that why people do that. But again, they do. They'll come up, I, I, and I've begun to recognize a few of them. They'll come on my channel.
you're a woman of God. Don't you know you ain't supposed to do this and um, say this and or eat this and eat that? I can't get into arguments with people like that because they're speaking of stuff that God has settled in heaven years ago, long ago before we even born. That's why we pray over our food. Because guess what? God said, don't ever say something is unclean that I've made clean. If I pray on my food and say, Lord, I thank you for this food. No matter what it is, no matter what you think it is. Once I've said my blessing over it in his name. In Jesus name. So again, don't, don't ever say something is unclean that God has made clean. Once I've prayed over it. Come on now. But anyway, again, people who don't understand, they ain't. Because they're leaning to their own understanding. But stuff God has settled in heaven before I even walked the earth? Come on now. Who you really mad at? You can't be mad at me. <laughs> anyway, that's deep, y'all, but... I hope I hope I hope this helps somebody, but like I said, all that people have to say about what I eat and what trust and believe. I know where I come from, honey. I know what it's like. Like be love said, I know what it's like. I've been in a bad car accident and my back got messed up. Thank God I didn't have to have surgery, but I had to have pain pills and it caused me to not be in activity. I used to have a job before I got promoted to the position I am now where I was very active on my job. So that weight gain came. I was still eating and doing what I've been doing. Excuse me, but because I was no longer physical and had a physical job, that weight came on like that. Then when I got in that accident, it really slowed things down. So just like I said, and just mimicking what uh, B Love said, you you never know where a person's been. And just just because I'm big and 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 and, and, and less, for instance, like B Love says, she's a small petite woman in a small frame, and she stays active and she drinks her water. And, I, and see, with me, I do all of that too. I may not be as active as she is, but I've been here lately. Or not just her, any person that you see on YouTube that's skinny and they eat all that food, and people people don't leave any nasty comments to them about their weight. And and there's no difference. Because what makes everything she eat so healthy and I eat, let's say I decide to eat the same thing and I, and then you don't say anything seen to her about it being unhealthy, but you'll come over here to the fat girls channel, if you will, and talk about how unhealthy and, and blah, 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 blah. So anyway, like I said, I just want to encourage, and again, this, this video is not about the naysayer. This truly is a video about people who want to be encouraged. Be encouraged, my brother. Be encouraged, my sister. If you have a passion, I don't care if you're 700 pounds. If you have a passion and you may not want to get on here and eat, whatever your passion is, you might have something somebody needs. So I just encourage you. Don't put your skill set, a God-given skill set, that can cause you to get wealth. And if that means... Your household needs another $200 a month to make ends meet. And you have a passion that you can record and get something out to somebody. Do it. If everybody in your family is okay and you find a spot in your home that doesn't invade too much of your privacy, doesn't expose too much of your, your whatever. Because one thing about being on this platform, you can share as much as you want. And you can share as less as you want. 
just write down the things that you, you, you know, your focus will be on. That's why I have a main channel where I do everything over there. I do the girly girl things, the makeup, the hair. We do straight talk, real talk sessions. I do lives over there. Over here, I strictly, we talk about things in life. <laughs> and we eat. That's what we do over here. You know? And talk about, you know, be have dinner with family. We don't see that that much anymore. Let's bring that back. Whatever you can. I know a lot of people are even over here on this channel. You know, some people will be ugly. Now, oh, your mama always. Yeah, that's tradition for our family. I don't know what it is for y'all's. But yeah, we're blessed that we're, I'm about six miles from my mother. We all are in about a six to ten mile radius. Except for my son, he lives out of town. So he's not able to come here as often. But yeah, for the most part, yeah, I live, I've lived close enough to my mother. And ever since my daddy died, before, even before my dad died, we all would get together on Sunday dinner. I just want recording at that time. But after my mother, excuse me, after my daddy died, I recognized, you know what? Um, let's, rec I'm going to start recording Sunday dinners because that'll, that'll leave a memory. You see what I'm saying? I wish, you know, I think about, I wish I was, doing mukbangs and all that before my daddy died because you thought you think we a trip bobby how you talk about some uh beautiful bean footage <laughs> but anyway um uh, seriously um that's my mother has always done that she's always done that that ain't so it's nothing strange to us that's what that's how we flow but because when people don't see it, they act, they, it, you know, they think it don't exist. So that's why I wanted to start doing that. You know, doing the Sunday dinner. That's, that's, that, and that's tradition for my family. <laughs> that's my mom's heart's desire for her children to always be able to come home on Sunday as often as possible and sit down and break bread and kick up their feet up on her table. That's her desire. It's her desire to cook for her children, for family. She don't just cook for us. My mom always has something over there at the house going on. She have people, she have young people coming through there every day of the week needing mentorship, needing to use the computer, needing her, them to. My mom used to be a um, HR EEO officer for the uh, APHIS Exchange. So she knows all about human resources and People come over there and ask her advice about how to prepare for an interview. I sometimes, because I, matter of fact, I'm in the process of interviewing now. So knowing how to tell people how to come in for an interview and stuff. Again, talking about passion. If that's your passion, if you're an HR manager and you need to be able to tell young people, look, don't come in there looking this, looking like this and that and the other. If you got an interview, don't smoke a cigarette before you go in. Because guess what? More, more likely than not, you're going to be in an in, in a, in a office, in a closed office, and you got people that are going to be interviewing you, but they can't get past the cigarette smoke. Just refrain from that. Stuff like that. Knowing what to wear. You know? That's appropriate. You know? So stuff like that. Whatever your passion is that you can give... Again, what what do you have to offer people? Because we can sit up here all day long and be nasty and negative and point people's stuff out. But what what? how do you gain? How do you gain anybody that way? You don't gain anybody. You, you, you got to show people love and show that you're interested in what they're interested in. And then through your love will bring about a conviction of them to turn from whatever way they're doing. Whether it's the way they dress, whether it's the way they look. We're trying to get you someplace. If people see this out of shell, then that, you know, because most people, let's just be honest. We look at the out of shell. But sometimes we have to look past. When I'm interviewing, I have to look past all that and say, okay, what are they, what do they have to offer? And I know it's hard for us because we look and see with our eyes. So, you know, like I said, what, what do you have to offer? And let your passion, I know what I said it 20 times, huh? let your passion drive you to your wealthy place. Anyway. Let's, let me get on out of here. I done got deep. I done need to start on this room. And, um. Like I 
like I said, y'all, thank you for listening. Thank you for stopping on the flavor train. Thank you, B-Loves, for that video. Um, Like I said, if y'all haven't subscribed to my main channel, go on over there. Subscribe to my cooking channel. Um, I also just did a video on my main channel where my son, um, he's a singer and he plays acoustic guitar, self-taught. Um, and uh, he's getting trying to get himself back out in the music, so there's little gigs here and there. And so we went and supported him. So that video is up over there on my main channel. Um, I'll leave the link in the description box for that video. But again, again, you know, like my son, you know, he's got a big family <laughs> and he had to stop doing all that for a while because he had to, you know, take on some extra shifts and hours to take care of that family, you know, so I commend him for that. But again, that's his passion and he's not let go of that passion. So, you know, he may only do the little small circuits just so he can still f do his little passion and get paid little gig fees and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, get, they'll pay him to do it there. But again, he hasn't let go, lo, let go of that passion. It may not be on a big scale. It may be on a comfortable scale where he can do still do his passion, but yet take care of his family. But anyway, I've been running my mouth long enough. I thank y'all for stopping by the flavor train because what? Flavors, where it's at. Love y'all so much. Bye. No one said it would be easy. No one promised you the moon. But each day I thank my Heavenly Father for His love and His grace. So I'm living my best life, y'all. Oh, yes, I'm living my best life. So just live your best life today.